Hello everyone. This is Dr. Mitesh Gala. Welcome to Rough Book, a learning companion. Uh, this video we are going to work on reflection, exercise 12A. Reflection is a very simple, very scoring topic. In the boards, this topic comes for at least four marks, and everyone wants to attempt this. This year, this question had come for four marks, wherein there was a fish-like shape in which they had to reflect points. I'm hundred percent sure you're going to get this as one of the favorite topics for you. What do you exactly mean by reflection, and what are we going to work on? So there are five things that you got to remember in the entire topic. First one, reflection in x-axis. Second, reflection in y-axis. Third, reflection in origin. Fourth, reflection in any line. And fifth, invariant points. Invariant points and reflection in any line. We'll do it in the next exercise. So right now we just need to focus on three things: reflection in x-axis, y-axis, and origin. Now, what do you mean by this? Let's take some example. So I have a point four by two. If this is reflecting in x-axis, reflect. You know, reflect means goes on the other side. Exactly inverted picture. So if x is this, this is your mirror, and the point is here. Where will the reflection lie? Obviously on the other side, correct? Because this is your mirror line at the same distance. So if the distance is one over here. The distance will be one here as well. So now my coordinates become four by minus two. Let's take one more example. If I take over here a point eight by six, reflecting here. So one, two, three places away. So one, two, three places over here. So that will be eight by minus six. So all in all, what did I get? If I am reflecting in x-axis, what is happening? A point which is four by two is becoming four by minus two. This is in x-axis, and a point which is eight by six is becoming eight by minus six. Now let's see if we are reflecting the same these two points, that is A and B, in y-axis. What happens? So now this is the mirror. So the points will reflect on this side of the mirror. It goes on the other side. Okay. So one and two, one and two. So this is the point where it will lie. So the coordinates are going to be minus four by two. Likewise, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So this is going to be the point that is minus eight by six. Okay. So what happens? Y-axis when I am reflecting the same points, four by two in Y has become minus four by two, and eight by six. Again in y-axis have become minus eight by six. Are you getting this? Let's say in origin. Origin is over here. That means this is your line of reflection. Okay. So whatever is on this side has to go in the opposite quadrant. You know the quadrants. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. So this is going to come in the opposite quadrant, not in the adjoining quadrants. So A will come exactly on the opposite side at the same position. So this was. One away and two away, so one away and two away. So the points will be minus four by minus two. Likewise, this is here eight by six. So here it is going to be exactly here one two three one two three four. So one two three down and four away. So that becomes minus eight minus six. So what is the outcome that we get in origin? So when it is reflecting in origin, four two. Has become minus four minus two in origin minus four minus two and eight six. So eight six has become minus eight minus six. So basically three things I said in this exercise. Number one reflection in x-axis. So x-axis comes down. Two reflection in y-axis goes on the other side and three reflection in origin. So on the opposite quadrant. Clear? Now. I want you to focus on these points and the outcome and generate some general derivatives. So if you look at this carefully, four two has become four minus two. So what is the change? The change is in this number ka sign. Can you see plus has become minus? Exactly same thing has happened over here. So when it is reflecting in x axis, what is happening is y coordinate ka sign changes. Sign changes. Have you noticed that? Yeah, if you look at it carefully, the y coordinate ka sign changes. Likewise, can you generate something for y axis? It is reflecting in y axis. 
can you see the x coordinate ka sign is changing but the y remains same so x coordinate sign changes correct and when it is in origin perfect both the coordinates change both coordinates sign changes yeah so the table goes this way x axis y coordinate changes the sign correct y axis x coordinate changes the sign and origin both axis or both coordinates sign change so do you need graph if i ask you a particular point reflecting in x y or origin let's test if i am reflecting 5 by 3 in x axis what will happen 5 by 3 obviously y will change so it will become 5 minus 3 good job this is in x let's say if the same is reflected in y it will become minus 5 by 3 and same reflected in origin minus 5 by minus 3 so now you don't need graph paper at all in order to get this you can get this directly how can you get it x axis y changes y axis x changes origin both change perfect let's take few sums over here in order to test ourselves transformation means reflection so 5 has transformed 5 minus 7 to minus 5 minus 7 so is it reflection in x axis y axis or origin tell me so this changed this also changed both have changed that means reflection is in origin did you get this one so i give you the start can you pause the video fill up all the remaining ones and then come back to see if you got them correct okay reflection in x axis so i will change y so this is what it should be reflection in y axis if you are coming behind same rule y axis x should change but you don't have minus 0 so keep it as 0 did anyone write minus 0 shame on you okay 6 changes minus 6 also changes so therefore reflection in origin perfect next one 4 changes this doesn't change that means x has changed so that means reflection is in y axis since x has changed x axis so y remains uh, x remains same y changes okay this should be the answer what about this one x axis again x axis is it have i copied it correct no i have messed up oh i went into the latter part i'm so sorry till here did you get all the answers correct great job now you're getting into the second part 3 Part one. This is reflection as an x-axis. So what will be the answers? Come on, pause the video. Get me all the answers. So three minus two minus two changes. X-axis means all y-coordinates will change. So minus five minus four. Zero. You can't do anything. Please don't write minus zero. I'll kill you all. Okay. Next one. Fourth. This time they're saying reflecting in x-axis. Sorry, y-axis. So x will change. Come on. Thirty seconds. You should finish everything. Yeah, did you get all the three same? Great job. Fifth. Now they say in origin. So you know in origin both will change. Come on, hit it. Perfect. Everyone, great job. Now they are using something reflection as x is equal to zero. So let me go back to the graph. If you remember the equation of this line, since it's part, it passes through zero of y. it is called as y is equal to 0 and this is called as x is equal to 0 so i would request you take this first page take a screenshot of this once i write what i want to and put it on your softboard so this becomes a main key for you okay x axis the equation is y is equal to 0 y axis x is equal to 0 origin has no equation so x matlab y y matlab x ulta it is going so if you put a print out of this on your softboard i am pretty sure you will get all the answers even without my help so x is equal to 0 matlab y axis that means you are going to change x in other words if you want to make it very simple x is equal to 0 that means change x y is equal to 0 means change y y because y is equal to 0 means x axis x axis matlab y coordinate am i going fast oh i am going slow acha okay so x axis i will change so 6 comma 4 y axis i will change so 8 comma 5 y coordinate i will change so minus 1 comma 
Did you get all this correct? Was this very simple? Great. Sum number nine. Ninth one they're saying there is a point P with AB reflecting in O. Reflection you write it as M of O. M is reflection. Okay. M of O, M of X, M of Y. That is a reflection in X, reflection in Y, reflection in O. These are shortcuts, abbreviations allowed by the board. You can use it, so don't worry. Now P goes to P dash as this in origin. So what will P be? Obviously, since it is in origin, both will change. So my answer for P should be 2 by minus 7. Now this P 2 by minus 7 is reflected in X axis. What will be P double dash? You call it as P dash, P double dash. Okay, that means the duplicate of P. All right. So X axis Y will change. Did you manage to get this? You can write only these two simple steps. That is more than enough. Unless your school teacher wants you to write something extra, please stick to it. Otherwise, this is fine for the boards. P, X, Y changing in X axis, reaching somewhere, changing in origin, reaching somewhere. So now you've got to go reverse. So P minus 8, 5 is P dash. Okay. We are going reverse now. So M of O, what will be origin? Both will change. So 8 by minus 5. So this should be 8 by minus 5. And now this 8 by minus 5 going further behind. 8 by minus 5 reflecting in x axis. You have to go reverse, nothing else. So x axis y will change. So 8 by 5. So therefore you can say point P is 8 by 5 which is equal to x comma y. Your target is find x and y. So therefore x is 8 and y is 5. Easy? Very easy, isn't it? Okay, fine. Let's go to the next one, 13th. Come on, everyone without my help. The sums look little bigger, but it's not that big. It's very simple rather. A in origin reflection to A dash. So what will be A dash? Both will change. Minus 4, minus 6. Again, A dash minus 4, minus 6 reflecting in M of Y. That is a reflection in Y. So X will change. So 4 by minus 6. Question is what is A double dash? So A double dash is 4 by minus 6, the first answer. Second is single transformation from A to A double dash. You can say from A, that is 4 by 6, to A double dash, which is 4 by minus 6. So single transformation matlab from here directly to here, which axis is the single transformation? Like basically x axis, y axis or origin. So see 4 not changed 6 changed that means y has changed so it is in x axis so you can say single transformation is in x axis do you get this what is single transformation great job p sum number 15 come on pause your video try it now 15 16 17 18 all four we are going to do i want you to do all four on your own and then come back and tell me that yes you got all of them okay so p to p dash m of x so x may reflect hoga that means y will change so 2 comma minus 3 and q to q dash in y axis so x will change is it simple how many got this correct great job next one 17 16 we'll do later first to 17 because that's on the graph so let me finish everything which is here on the pages a 4 minus 1 reflecting in y axis so y axis what will happen x will change yeah so first question is get a dash we got it now b dash you getting on reflecting an x axis for b so b reflecting an x axis so go reverse x means y will change so minus 2 minus 5 see if you want to recheck this this reflecting an x so y changes and you get this either ways it remains the same so what is your coordinate B? Minus 2, minus 5. Who got all these correct? Brilliant guys. 18. Now this is slightly different. So I want you to read the question 2 to 3 times at least. Try it. If you don't get then come back. I am 100% sure if you use your common sense, you are bound to get it. Minus 5, 0 turning to 5, 0. That means which axis do you think this is? So X has changed. Y may have changed may not because 0 becomes 0 only so if x has changed that means y axis or it can also be origin where both can change so both possibilities are still there so let's look at the second one minus 2 turning to 2 so x changed y did not change only x changed that means y axis 
and both are in the same line your origin is not a possibility so this gets cancelled only possibility left is y axis that is called as a line of reflection so you can say since x coordinate changes the sign in both examples therefore reflection takes place in y axis and your line of reflection becomes y axis did you get this please mention the reason at least okay now they say 5 minus 8 reflected in the line in a so line in a is y axis that is m of x so what will be the reflecting point so y matlab x will change so minus 5 minus 8 got it let's go with some number 16 Sixteen is a very simple question. They're saying that you need to reflect few points. So read the question. Take your graph sheet. Always take one centimeter as one unit or two centimeter as two unit. Do not take two centimeter as one unit unless they mention. Okay. Once you draw it, finish the sum. Come back. Okay. They say first plot these points. So A is three by one. Three by one. That should be here. A three by one. First the dot circle, then the name and the coordinates. Everything you need to mention. B five by zero. So it's here. B five by zero. And C seven by four. So seven by four should be here. C seven by four. Basically, this is a triangle. The question reads this way. They say on a graph sheet plot the triangle so and so. And on the diagram, draw the image of so and so under reflection in origin. So reflecting in origin, and this is a triangle. So I would insist first complete your triangle this one by joining the three coordinates that you have plotted. So A B B C and A C. So having drawn the three lines, let's let's reflect them in origin. So A is three one. Origin means both will change. So minus three minus one. This should be your point A dash. Minus three minus one. Please write the coordinates. Don't forget. B is five zero. So five zero reflecting in origin. Both changes minus five minus zero. So minus five minus zero is B. Minus zero. Oh, such a big blunder. Sorry. Don't tell anybody. C is seven four reflecting in origin. So minus seven minus four. Minus seven minus four, so C minus seven minus four. I got my three points. Let me draw the triangle. So these two points, these two points, and these two points, right? So we got the triangle being reflected. Can you see the farthermost point has got to the farthermost point? The closest is to the closest. Exactly opposite reflection. You will see the image being inverted. This image gets inverted. Yeah, that's what the reflection is all about. Once you reflected, I would always insist go on to your rule page or onto your graph somewhere behind. Write all the coordinates that you've got: a dash, b dash, c dash. Don't write here either behind or on the rule page. Better to write on the rule page and behind both. So a dash I have got as minus three minus one, b dash minus five zero, not minus zero, and c dash minus seven minus four. So you got all your three coordinates and you are sorted. Yeah, I hope you got this exercise very easily. We finished it so quickly. Yeah, homework six part two, part three, seven part one, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. Please do the following sums as your homework. And in the next video, we'll try and finish this chapter using the graph sheets. In case if you don't have graph sheets, three choices: number one, buy a new one; number two, on to the net, take a printout. You type over the graph sheet, you will get take a two by two graph sheet, not two by one. Huh? Don't take a wrong graph sheet. Three, if you do not have a printer or ink or whatever the problem, take your rule page, draw lines, and take your scale one centimeter as one unit, plot it, and then do it. You will still get the same answer. So I want you to do it by any method that you are comfortable with. Okay. Hope you had a lovely mathematics experience with a rough book, our learning companion.